So now, the nitty gritty. We have to make adjustments. You won't actually be measuring a U or a V. You're going to be measuring U prime and V primes. And you have to adjust them to get the actual U's and V's that you're going to use to plot your line. So, let's see just how these adjustments come up. Let's take a look at this. This is our setup. Each of our optical elements are mounted on these magnetic slides. And we can see here is the lens. And we'll be measuring each of these with this white line that we match to the ruler that's taped on to the bench. And we'll notice this white line isn't exactly where the center of the lens is. So that's why we have to adjust. The same for the image, the object, excuse me, the same for the object, and the same for the measuring screen that you'll be using to measure your magnifications. All right. All right, so let's talk about what this is going to look like. First things first, get a good look at the image here. Get a good look at the image here. Notice it has little lines on it. There's an arrow pointing up, and there's an arrow pointing to my right. Each of the little lines here are one millimeter. Each of the lines in one millimeter. And if you're curious, from the outer edge to the outer edge of the circle is one centimeter. All right, great, great. So now, let's look at it through the lens. Okay, so now, first thing I want you to look at, look at the arrow. The arrow that was to my right is now to the left. And uh, the other, the other arrow, the other arrow has disappeared. Oh, there it is. Ah, there it is. Ah, it's pointing down, and it was pointing up, which tells us that it's inverted. Okay. So now while I'm here, and you're nice and close, let's talk about focusing. Let's talk about focusing. You're going to be doing a lot of focusing in this experiment. To focus, let's talk about what's not focused. If I get too close, we can see how that becomes more blurry and it's not focused. And then as I make adjustments to get, and I'm pushing this further, we can see it starts to focus, and if I get too far, it becomes unfocused again. So with each of your focusing, it's really particular to the person looking because someone who is nearsighted will, will see a slightly different focus point than someone who is farsighted. But I recommend for each time you focus, pick a spot. Pick a spot like a corner and watch that corner. Watch that corner and when it becomes sharp and clear, you know you're focused. Okay, while we're here, let's talk about how to find Y and Y prime. The Y's will represent the actual distance between these white lines. So say I pick three of them. One, two, three. So Y is three millimeters. To find Y prime, I need to use our convenient ruler and then find the distance from those three. Let's see here. And when we measure, go from edge to corresponding edge. In other words, I'm going from, let's see, the left edge, and I'm going to measure to the left edge away. So let's see here. Uh, one, two, three, four, uh, 5.9, 5.9 millimeters. But it's negative 5.9 millimeters for Y prime because it's inverted. Okay, so that's, a, that's how you measure. Uh, one other thing to keep in mind, one other thing to keep in mind, is try to always measure the magnifications near the center of the lens. 
near the center of the lens. However, we also want to take as big a measurements as possible to minimize fractional error. So it's a kind of a conflict. Try to stay in the center of the lens, but don't get too far out or you'll start encountering an error because as the lens, and the, as the lens gets farther from the center, it becomes imperfect. But don't keep the measurements too small because we will have too big of a fractional error. So as you get uh, your, your points that are farther away, as this gets bigger, you'll be taking maybe one millimeter distances for each of your Ys. And then as you get closer, maybe two or three for your Ys. All right. Now let's talk about the setup. Okay. So the setup is this. The image is on the right side of its slide and make sure that it's centered. The lens is on the left side. Make sure that that's centered. If you forget which side they should be on, these two should be facing each other. And then of course the screen facing on this left side facing you. All right, so the setup is this. The lens, you want to put that white line on the 40 mark. And then you leave it there for the entire experiment. And then the screen, you put that one on the 90 mark. So V prime is 50. Your first V prime is 50. Okay, so then what you do is you then move the object back and forth until it becomes focused. Great. It's focused. And then you measure the Y and Y prime, just like I told you. And now to get the U prime, we measure from the lens to the object. And be careful because you're measuring backwards. So this is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, two, four. 6.24 centimeters, 6.24. Great, that's the first point. The rest is just the same. Go down your data sheet. Next one is 40, so I move this 10 centimeters closer. And then I move this back until it becomes focused again. Read the Y, Y prime, U prime. And then as I'm moving it again, I move the next one's five centimeters. Move this back so it's focused. Y, Y prime, U prime. No problem. There you go. So now you can test your magnifications. You can plot your line. Use the slope and intercept to find your foci. And I got a special treat for you. Look what I found. Look what I found. I found the one ring. I did. So we're ready for the ultimate optical illusion.